Hi everyone! In this lesson, we're going to look at the new adjustment options and adjustment effects you'll find in ProShow Gold version 6. Let's begin by checking out a few examples of what you can do with the new adjustment options. Here are three slides that feature the same adjustment effects, just using different content. As the slides play, you'll notice the background images change from being blurry to being in focus. Images change from black and white to color, and images also have this large white border that gives them more of a printed photo look. Okay, let's build a new slide from scratch and recreate these effects. First, drag and drop an image into the slide list and make a new slide. Then, double click to open the slide options. Now, this image is going to serve as the background for the slide. However, because we want to change the look of this image as the slide plays, we're not going to use the background option. Backgrounds can be custom images, but their settings can't change as a slide plays. Instead, as we build this slide, all we have to do is make sure that this image is always at the very bottom of the layers list. Now, as a reminder and to help me stay organized, over here in the selected layer pane, I'll click on the rename option and label this layer as my background. Okay, so how do we take an image and make it go from being blurry to being in focus? Well, we do that by using the options you'll find under the Effects tab. The preview on the left is the starting position for the slide. This is how the image layer will look when the slide begins to play. Now to make this image appear out of focus when the slide starts, down here in the adjustments pane, I'll change the blur value. The preview on the right is the ending position. This is how the image layer will look when the slide ends. To make sure this image appears completely in focus at the end of my slide, I'm going to click on the preview, and then make sure all of these adjustment settings are set to zero. When I preview the slide, just like in the example, the image starts off blurry, then comes into focus as the slide plays. Now let's add another image to this slide. Now I can click on the Add icon here in the Layers list and choose a new image, or I can move the Slide Options window over just a little bit and then drag a new image in directly from the file list. Now remember, we want the first layer we worked on to always appear at the bottom. So I'll use the up and down arrows in the layers list to change the layer order. Now to give this image that printed photo look we saw earlier, we need to do a couple of things. First, let's click on the Layer Settings tab, and then reduce the zoom value so we can see the edges of the image. Now click on the Adjustments tab. To give this image that printed photo look, we'll be using the new Vignette feature. Traditionally, a vignette looks something like this, a round or elliptical shape with a soft blended edge. But in ProShow, we can actually change the shape settings quite a bit, and that's what we'll do to make that white border. So first, let's set the shape to rounded rectangle. Then change the type to solid color and set the color to white. Now to give this vignette a hard edge, we'll select both the solid borders and fill corners options. Now let's adjust the vignette size and then press OK to apply the changes. In the examples, we saw many of the images change from black and white to full color. So let's do that with this layer. All right, let's click on the Effects tab above the preview, select the starting position. Now in the Adjustments pane, click the Colorize option, then press the Set Color button to choose a new color. Using the two previews, you can now see the difference between how the image will look when the slide starts and how the image will look when the slide ends. When we preview the slide now, we can see the black and white to full color change, along with the focus change we applied to the background layer. 
Now to match the original examples, let's use a shortcut or two to wrap this slide up. Click on the Layer Settings tab, select Layer 1, and in the preview, click and drag Layer 1 over to the left. Now in the Layers list, right click on Layer 1 and select Duplicate Layer. This will make an exact copy of the layer, including the vignette settings and the adjustment effect we just created. Now right click on Layer 1 again, but this time choose Select File. This opens up a Windows file browser. From here, we can pick a different image for Layer 1, but all the settings stay the same. Now once we find a replacement image, let's take Layer 1 and move it over to the right. You can click and drag in the preview using your mouse, or use the position options down here in the Layer Setup pane. Finally, let's add a caption. Click on the Add icon in the Captions list and type in your text. When we preview the slide again, we can see how using adjustments and adjustment effects can come together to make a really nice title slide for your shows. That's it for this lesson, but there are many more new features to discover in ProShow 6. Be sure to visit our blog or check out our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.